arrest and unauthorized videotape officials don't want you to see. It shows an everyday interaction between officers and inmates at a New Jersey prison. Just getting a camera inside is a huge security breach, getting the tape out even tougher. You might find it tough to watch. She about the witness is not only a rare look at what goes on within one of the many prisons within America, but what you're about the witness is also a rare look at what goes on within one of the many solitary confinement units within the prisons of America. The depths of prison, the bowels of prison, the bowels of life. This is about as low in life as you could possibly get. 24-7-365. Oh man, he's running from the fucking mace, man. What the fuck, man? What happened to your face? No fucking police whooped my ass. How you feel about that? Man, I feel like shit they doing wrong. I mean, they way they restrain people. They don't gotta be doing it the way that they doing it. You feel as though you gotta go do that to just get treated fair around here? Yeah, that's the only way I see the police to do anything for us. So you willing you willing to go through that, go through this type of treatment just to get what they say you can have? in prison. I'm willing to go through whatever I got to just to get what I feel as though I need in here to survive. Mm. Good thing. What happened to your face? Now, I wasn't, I don't know what I call, got duffed out by police, beat up, stomped out, hit with sticks and shit, man. Fuck me up, man. Did you put up a fight? Hell no, man. That's the fucked up thing about it, man. I even tried to put my arms behind my back for them to cuff me, man. They just wanted to grab my arm and just beat me in the face with the other hand. Or all that, the rest of they can do is stomp me out of anything. What happened when they handcuffed you? Man, it seemed like before they even handcuffed me, they was beating me up. And they was taking their time handcuffing me. They act like they didn't even want to handcuff me. They just wanted to keep beating me up. They didn't even want to take the time out to handcuff me. And then when they did handcuff me, they 
man, I got it. I'm getting hit in the face with sticks. I got ran into the gate, to the pole, all through the walls, and stuff all down here. And, and did they give you proper medical treatment? Yeah, no, nah, not really, but they asked me did I want to go to the hospital, but the mace was burning so bad that I couldn't take the weight. And plus, I just came from down Trenton and just got an ass whooping down there. I'm scared of them boys down there. I'd be damned if I would have went down there. His family says the voice you hear screaming belongs to 22-year-old Jamil Parsons, an inmate at Northern State Prison in Newark. They say they haven't heard from him for months. And after seeing what they believe is him being pulled down the steps, they're worried. What gives them the right to drag and, 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 and treat them that way? What is the reason, you know? If they can't handle it, why are they with the job? But even Jamil's own grandmother admits he's no angel. Most of these guys aren't. Northern State is home to some of the most violent felons and vicious gang members. Then there's the guys who got caught up in the streets, and then the system. I took the tape to show prison officials, but they didn't want to comment on camera. We also showed it to the head of the union representing officers at all the state prisons. They were stunned. It's extremely unusual. It's very, very rare. It just doesn't happen. Uh, because of the security and whatnot that's involved. Because of the fact that if you can bring a camera in, you could possibly bring something in, else in. The fear? That something else could be a weapon. From what I can see, if they were New Jersey correction officers, uh, it appeared to me as though they followed normal procedure. Northern State officials did issue this statement, quote, we can't confirm it's Northern State Prison. At first glance, it appears proper correctional practices were followed. However, we will be investigating it further. But all Jamil's grandmother wants to do is hear from him and know he's okay. Sources say the two men got out of hand. They were upset because they had a clogged toilet and hadn't been allowed to shower for days. That's why guards stepped in. I guess each one of those guards that, that got animals, and I'm quite sure they wouldn't even treat them that way. And the correction officers say that prison gangs are getting much more organized. That's why they're worried that a camera may have been smuggled in. They plan to look into this, too. Reporting live from Newark, Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Hey, Administrator Schick. Just be patient. I just straightened out this other guy. That's, that's usually bad down when I went to the face. Yeah. Hey, look. He said he's been on. A, a, yeah, what a business. Listen, that, if it's been past 72 hours, I'm going to correct it, all right? You so, said, you said, what a business? What a business. What a business. Exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. That's right, but guess what? You guys fall right into it. The program is only designed for nine months. How long you been over here? But look, 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 we got a sign. October, uh, he been on a uh, PhD since October 5th. I've been on PhD since the 28th. I don't want to talk about stuff I said I'm going to resolve. I said I'm going to resolve between the days of all. But they always do. They constantly do the same thing. They do not follow. Why don't you behave yourself? Right. Shit, I've been back. I'm going to correct this problem, but in the future, why can't you behave? Hey, administrative can shit. Can you behave yourself? I always behave. I always behave myself accordingly. I always yes. behave myself accordingly. Can you? Can you? Are you an honest person with yourself? Yes, I am. Okay. Did you start a fire? No, I did not. This is not for a fire. One, uh, it's a temper with a locking device. Okay. Yes. Were you temper with a locking device? No, I did not. You tell the truth. Yes, and it's on videotape that. You're gonna go to court line on it, but just the PhD. It's on videotape that I received a charge for something that I didn't even do. I'm asking you to your face. Nah, but I'm letting you know that. Your internal affairs has videotaped that I received charge, a charge for something that I didn't even do. Okay. And one, one, one more thing. Y'all don't even follow y'all's own rules and regulations that y'all laid down. You're not hearing any tenure stuff again, are you? But nah, just in general. Y'all don't even follow the own rules and regulations that y'all laid down. Give me an example. Example. Prime example. We should be following the rules. Prime example. Yes. Haircuts. That's prime example. Hygiene. Health. Last time we had haircuts was about three months ago. Okay, next time we can look at it and store that back up. Okay. Haircuts. PhD. You're entitled to a hearing within a timely manner. If I'm not mistaken, 72 hours. I, I'm going to deal with that. I yield to But this that. is an ongoing and continual process, though. Uh, I know something. You know you write on something, so you want to you wanna nag about it. Now. But it's more than just that. Not an officer that got fired when we got the, a, a officer. An officer got fired. You have a, good, you have a pretty good relationship with Sergeant Day. 
Mm, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't. I, he doesn't. None of y'all treat us the way we're supposed to be treated. Including me. For the most part. But hey, hey, shit, I got one more serious thing I want to address to you. An officer got fired for roughing us up when we refused to lock in our cell. No, I mean, we, we refused, honestly, we refused to lock in our cell, which is what I received tampering with a locking device for. And What's the point you're trying to make, though? The point I'm trying to make, the point I'm making is that Y'all do not follow y'all's own rules and regulations that y'all laid down, so how could you expect someone else to follow them? That's a challenge, and little by little, you're going to see improvement. You do your part, we'll do ours. My part's done. My part's done.